Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to have a quick look into my BenQ 32 inch EX3203R triple gaming displays I received a while ago and I'm going to start off with having a look at the design, go further with some technical features and end this video with the big question, VR or triple screen. So talking about the design, these BenQ monitors are promoted as gaming monitors and even target the sim racing community. So the first thing I did when I received these monitors is I contacted my main sponsor, Fasaro, to ask him if he could hook me up with a triple monitor stand. And with the help of Visa adapters, I was able to mount my monitors to this stand. On a side note, I'm really happy with the sand. It was easy to mount, easy to adjust the monitors and have them aligned to each other because that's the most tricky part, but it all went well. And initially, these monitors come with legs to use them on a the desk, for example, and they have this chrome accent, which gives it a more high-end look. When we look at the back of the monitor, it has a black gray color with the BenQ logo. And here we can also find the inputs. So we have two HDMI inputs, a display port and a USB port. The monitors have 1800R curvature and it has ultra slim bezels, which is really important for us sim racers. Uh, the smaller the bezels, the better as it makes it more immersive. The monitor in general has a neat, simple and at the same time professional design. The bottom right corner, you can also find the buttons to customize your settings to your own preference. For example, brightness, you can play a bit with the contrast, the sharpness, the color temperature, and so on. There are also advanced settings where you can change uh, to HDR cinema, HDR sRGB, or photo modes. So enough about the design, let's go further with some technical features. So basically these BenQ monitors make game graphics look so good because of the main performance specifications, namely resolution and refresh rate. These 32 inch curved monitors have a QHD 2560 by 1440 resolution and it comes with 144 Hertz high refresh rate. Another reason why game graphics look so good with these monitors is because of the display panels are good quality VA technology with a wide color gamut and high native contrast. Other than that, it also has HDR support and free sync technology which basically delivers dynamic refresh rate, gives you smoother gaming experience without broken frames and choppy gameplay. BenQ also included something called eye care technology. So based on the lighting, whether you're in a very bright lighted room or in a dark room, it will automatically adjust display settings to reduce eye strain. This is a pretty cool feature. So to end with the big question, VR or triple screen, um, everybody knows I'm a big fan of VR. I think it makes the sim racing experience so much more immersive and it gets closer to realism than anything else. So I definitely like VR. However, it also has its downsides. First of all, the graphics aren't there yet. There's definitely room for improvement and we'll have to wait and see how it will look like in the close future. Another downside is that it's not comfortable for long training sessions because it gets hot and blurry and some people don't get bothered by that, but I used to lose focus after two hours of sim racing. Now talking about triple screen setup, the biggest advantage over VR is graphics. At a QHD 2560 by 1440 resolution and 144 Hz refresh rate, you have amazing graphics. Of course, it can't be that immersive as with VR, but having these graphics and having a triple curved monitor setup kind of gives you that cockpit feeling and makes the sim racing experience more immersive. You can do way longer training sessions and be more focused. So to sum it up, I think VR is amazing. It's really immersive, close to realism. For people who haven't tried it yet, you should try it. Uh, but at the same time, I'm also happy that BenQ sent me this triple gaming displays because uh, I've been still racing it in VR for two years and I'm kind of happy now that I have really good graphics. I'm gonna stick to these for a while. So talking about the pricing, one monitor retails at a price of 589 euros, which is in my opinion a quite good deal for this monitor. For more information, check out BenQ.com.
So guys, that was it for this quick look into my BenQ 32-inch EX3203R triple gaming displays. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment them in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye.